three, two, one, live. What's up, everybody? Who do we got on here? Who do we got? Who do we got? If you could, someone give us a sound check, that would be awesome. And if you could tell us where you're f watching from, that would also be awesome. Happy New Year, everybody. I see nobody on there. Two people, five people. Constance, hello, mama. Love you. Mom's back on first. <laughs> okay, 13. Hello, Crystal. How we doing, everybody? Sound okay, everyone? Sounds good. All right, Kayla, how are you? Kayla, are you watching from your swim spa or are you inside? What are you doing? What are you up to? Toronto. Neat. That's cool. All right, Cindy, how are you? All right. Sher I'm, I'm thinking that Sherry with its C H E R I. That's Sherry, yeah. right? It's Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Chris, what's up? Tallahassee. All right. Ontario, Ohio. No, I wish I'm inside at the moment. Sorry about that, kiddo. You'll get out there. Don't you worry. I'm, I have complete faith in you. All right. 23 people. All right. So we're going to talk about... Hello, Beth. Beth is the birthday girl today, happy everyone. Birthday. Yep. It, it's, a, it's a monumental birthday. So feel free to wish her a happy birthday. All right. Dennis, Mass, what's up? All right, all right. Just my mom just got out. Okay, cool, very cool. Okay, so I'm assuming if you're here that you know that we're doing this 15, 90 day challenge and uh, Charles wants to join you on the video. I don't think you do. It's always funny, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what button people hit to make that happen. I don't either. I don't either. So uh, let's see, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this over to Mary. She's chilling over here in the corner. Hello. All right. All right. So, tell us. What's so, the deal? What do we have to do? I want to start this 90-day challenge. What do I do? Okay, first you're going to click the link that I'm assuming Kayla is going to post right now. And it is a landing page for the Master Spa's 90-day challenge. And it's going to be 15 minutes a day of moving around in your swim spa, exercising in your swim spa for 90 days, or as many days as you can for 15 minutes. And there are going to be videos that you will have access to every two weeks with a specific routine that we are recommending that you try. And if you want to try to do it, do the exercises for about 15 minutes. You can go more than that if you want. You can make them a little bit more advanced if you want. We, this first two weeks are all about stretching and getting you ready to build a foundation for the following weeks. So the videos came out amazingly. I, is, I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. Really yeah, it's are awesome. So awesome. So. Take a look at those videos. Ben explains each exercise while, while I actually do them in the water so that you know exactly how to do them. We give some examples of how to make it a little bit harder, make it a little bit easier. Uh, so they are exercises for everyone. And again, these first two weeks are really focused on stretching in the swim spot. We're encouraging you to do that about 15 minutes a day and we're gonna build from there. So if you click on the link to the landing page, it will give you all the information that you need. You're gonna get an email with more information and what you need to do is you're going to be posting a video each week, I think just once a week, um, the, the landing page and the email will tell you more. Uh, of yep, there's a, there's a link. Yep, and there's, there's going to be a spot, a place where you're going to post you're a video of yourself exercising in your swim spa and you're going to do that each week and we're going to pick a winner at the end of the 90 days for someone who's really done a great job of completing that 90 day challenge and and the thing is is what we're encouraging is 15 minutes of movement a day is such a great way to to get your body 
going to get those muscles nice and loose to really start it's a really great foundation for for moving and, and it's a very manageable amount of time 15 minutes is really nothing um, so if you can get that in every day that's really going to be awesome for your health and your well-being okay i do have something to add i usually have something to add okay so um, 15 minutes, how we set this up, we set it up in a circuit. So when you get the video, you'll watch it. And Zach did an awesome job. Um, he, he called or, or I called him with a question and then he asked how we wanted to format the videos. And, he, and I, he's, the, he's the video king, yeah. not me. So I'm like, I don't know, dude, whatever you think. It came out awesome. It's so easy to watch and easy to follow. Uh, came out super. So Zach, if you're watching this, it's, you. it's epic. It's just so easy and perfect. It's just so well done. So the thing I want to talk about, some people that are on here, you are already past 15 minutes of exercise, you know, each time you're in there and that's okay. So you are welcome to do, there is nothing in this first round that you can't put on top of what you're doing right now to start. Okay. And also you don't, if you're, if you're a workout animal, you can also do it twice. You can do each circuit three times. I don't think you need to do it more than three times. That's a lot. So, you know, we estimate 15 minutes, you know, minutes ish on this. And so uh, again, the point of it, and Mary talked about this was to build a foundation, but what we're, you know, to be very, very clear on what we're trying to do with it. We really want you, if you have any injuries, we want you to address them now before we move forward. So that's what we mean when we say lay a foundation for what's coming. This is getting yourself healthy. So if you got, when, when did we film that video? A week? A week and a half week ago. And a, so a yeah. week and a half ago, we filmed that video. And when you watch it, you'll see me crying about my shoulder injury. It's gone. And all I did was exactly those exercises and a little bit of a TENS unit that I've got gone. And, and it was probably, uh, I've had a lot of, 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 you know, sports related injuries over the years. I don't know that I've ever had one that sort of gave me concern, uh, that was just random. Like I've had accidents before and they were bad and I had to go to therapy because they were bad. This one was pretty significant. And usually I can clear those up in a few days and it took me two weeks, two weeks and it's, it's gone. So, so this one, so it, it works. This stuff works. Uh, equipment needed, Dennis. Everything you have, everything. So we, we did that on purpose. So there's no additional equipment than what you have that came standard in your swim spa as necessary. Okay? So you're all set to start that. And again, a lot of it is stretching. Um, a lot of it is injury repair. So we're focusing on shoulders. We're focusing on stretching hamstrings and low back. And we're focused on, uh, you know, lots of stretches and then strengthening, you know, knees with the step downs. Really good stuff. Okay, so it's a great, so even if you're already advanced and you're past there and you have no injuries, this is stuff that we should all be doing sure. to prevent, you know, injury down the road. Okay, so think of it that way. If you have any questions, feel free to, to message in. Uh, we'll get to as many as we can for sure. You're always welcome to comment right on here. And you're also welcome to send a message to the Facebook and just make sure you put on top big letters, you know, this is to Ben or to Mary. And, uh, and if we don't see them, they'll, they'll kick them oh, over to us. Right. As you can imagine, there's a lot of messages on there. Master's Buzz is a massive company. So it's, you know, we can't, everyone, you know, I hope no one ever thinks that we're rude and, and not answering. There's a, way too many messages to sift through. So we, we need you to, to big letters, you know, Ben and Mary on top. Make sense? What yeah. do you think? Yeah. So, uh-oh, we have a visitor. <laughs> what do you think, Captain? You gonna do this challenge? Yeah, we should all be as fit as you, buddy. <laughs> you guys should see this dog run and jump. Okay, so uh, next thing I wanna go over real quick is the landing page, really simple. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna click on the link that, that uh, Kayla posted on here in the comments, and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna take you to a page. You wanna hit, uh, I wanna sign up or I want in, and you put your information in there, shush. And then from there, you'll get an email that'll have a link to the exercise video and the, all that. And then on that same landing page that you click on in that link, you'll have, that's where you upload the videos. The videos, we don't need, uh, you know, pro, you know, videographer, videographer, whatever, however you say it. We just take a clip, take a selfie video of you exercising, have someone shoot it real quick. We just want to see that you're doing this. We want to see people 
get out of this. I know that people relax and, and soak in there and, and just chill out and use the jets. We know people do that. We want to see you do a little something too, if that's your interest, okay? Some people, you know, buy these to do nothing in them. And that's fine. Uh, if you want to do some of this exercise stuff, this is a great, really cool, really cool situation, and we're really glad they let and us do this. It's just fun. There's going to be, you know, a lot of people who are doing it, and and um, it's just something a little bit different. Yep, for sure, for sure. Robert. All right, so. Oh, Rob, are you going to do it? Did you get your new swim spot yet? Oh, wow, I didn't even ask him. Yeah. I know it was done being built. I don't know if it's in. Oh, okay. So, Maybe not. so Robert, everybody has a, uh, a Challenger 19. It's either there or it's on the way, and it's not yet. So okay. it's, it, soon though, right, Rob? So and it's a, it's like a waterfront install. It's going to be epic. To see those yeah, players. this is going to be this is going to be fully stupid. This this install will be fully stupid when we it's done. We should do a Facebook live at Rob's house. Ah, uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Yeah. So, Susan, can we hook that up? Ma, can we hook that up? Awesome. Very cool. Okay. So then on, on this, and then you enter. So when you enter, your, your name is going to go in and we want to see people that are doing the work. We want to see, you know, get something out of this. If you have a specific injury, send us a message and, and we can help you, you know, also work in conjunction with a therapist or a doctor and give you some ideas on what you can do to address that in the swim spa will be very, very good. And this is just a great opportunity to kind of clean the slate of injuries. And that's the good stuff, you guys, you know, um, I'm going to put this on Mary. Go ahead. So, oh, so, you know, like yesterday, yesterday, day before, I can't remember. We had someone call in, and they she had interest in the therapool, and she's got she's got some physical issues. She wants to do rehab. She's setting up a whole rehab, you know, situation at her house from from water, from swim spas. She was looking at pools versus swim spas, and uh, you know, I'm sure there's a host. She's a retired physical therapist, so she knows what she's doing. And um, you know, lots of equipment, and just to set up her own situation where she can take care of her body. 100% at home. That's the dream right there. You know, and, and I and I do also realize that when you kind of head down this road, it's it's daunting if you're not familiar with these exercises and what to do and, and how to rehab a shoulder. You know, we know how to do that stuff. So I hurt my shoulder. I know what to do. And um, I realize that not everyone does. And that's why we're doing this. We really want to help. We want to get the most out of these. And we're doing it now so that in the summertime we can chill out a little bit. Okay? So, all right. Check for questions in there, right? Yeah, I was just, um, Kayla did answer already, but just so everyone can hear it too. The videos will be posted later tonight. So keep an eye out and those will be posted later tonight. Oh, so he just sent us the sneak peek. Yes. Awesome. It so was, they are awesome. So perfect. Something so perfect. to look forward to for later. Quick, easy to view, and it has, you know, a description. Also, you know, me talking in the background and then Mary a visual so you can see the exercise as it's being explained. Zach exactly. just... He nailed it. Yeah. It was, that's how we'll have to shoot these, all of them. It was literally perfect. I, I don't want to change anything. So, all right. So, so we do have, go ahead. No. I was just going to say, we do have a couple of questions that came in beforehand. And we did promise yesterday that if anyone has any additional questions, um, really on anything that you'd like regarding the challenge or about your swim spa, your hot tub, you can um, post them on here and for the next little bit we will answer those questions so um i'm gonna read the questions to ben ben is going to answer them oh i didn't look at these yet oh this is i this yes i've i i've read them to you I, oh listen okay so this first one oh. is from marty in florida okay and this is having to do with the exercises does doing resistance ex exercise in swim spa do as much for muscle building and or maintaining muscle mass as I'm assuming like on the land, other than the fact that it's really good for your joints and reducing the impact. And how about maintaining bone density? Good, good one. Okay, so compared uh, dry land to, to water, um, it depends. There's a bunch of factors in here. So first, let me, let me kind of back up. If you're trying to build physical muscle tissue, you need to be in a positive calorie balance. So it starts with nutrition when it comes to building muscle. Doesn't matter whether you're in the water, dry land, on the moon, doesn't make any difference. 
although the no gravity thing might change things because it's not really weight bearing. But that being said, so calories will dictate if you're even able to build muscle before you touch any piece of equipment anywhere, dry or wet. So first there's that. Next, maintaining muscle tissue. Uh, yes, absolutely, no problem maintaining it in the water. It's still weight bearing, it's just a little less weight bearing. And that's where that you're gonna see that theme continue in this answer. So for maintaining muscle mass, yes, absolutely. You wanna eat correctly and you wanna do all these exercises and what's more to come. There's still plenty of weight bearing there. So yes, you can build new muscle tissue. If someone is a, a pro bodybuilder or a pro powerlifter and they're massive, they're probably not going to build muscle tissue since they're working with you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds, whereas your average person could absolutely build muscle tissue. Okay, so it, it depends, it's a little bit gray. Um, next, for as far as maintaining muscle tissue, yes, easy yes, that's, that's no problem at all in the water, even with the lower amount of impact on your body, which is you know important. And the key thing to remember is that if we get hurt on dry land, you're coming to the water anyway, and this is our best case scenario for super longevity without joint injury. The biggest downfall, the biggest reason people gain weight is illness, is you know they, they, they hurt their back and they can't do anything, they can't move, and then it sort of has this terrible, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you guys, I know every single person watching this has dealt with this personally or seen it up close. If you get an injury, whether it's dry, wet, doesn't make any difference, it sort of snowballs when you can't do anything. It's depressing, and then we start eating poorly, and, and it all we're not taking great care of ourselves because you're in a bad place. Uh, it's very, unfortunately, it's very normal. So if we can prevent that, it's the highest statistic for maintaining muscle mass and exercise and good habits for the longest amount of time, so awesome. Uh, bone density, that's a good question. I don't know that anyone's ever asked that. However, I do know the answer. Um, Anything that's weight bearing will have the largest impact on bone density. Okay, so people have asked if swimming itself will increase bone density. And typically, it's, it, I mean, it could if you weren't doing anything, um, it could build it a little bit, but it's not a weight bearing exercise. Okay, whereas doing the step downs and all of that stuff is a weight bearing exercise in the water and it will have a positive effect. You can increase bone density doing water rehab exercises. Okay, swimming, probably minimal, if any at all, whereas the exercise is yes, but the more weight that's on there, the more impact it's gonna have on your bone density. So dry land probably will build more bone density than it will in the water because there's more weight bearing. Okay, so that would be, so I know that, um, the only part of that question that I don't know the answer to fully is, and I know that there's a correlation to it, you can increase bone density in the water, you increase more dry land because it's more weight bearing, what that percentage is, that I don't know. I don't even know that that, that research is done so clearly as to give that answer, but the more weight bearing, the more bone density in the water still has super positive effect and does work. Good? Yeah. All right, so we did get a question and Kayla did answer, but I just wanted to reiterate as well. The videos, there's going to be one video every two weeks yep. and you're going to i mean two weeks i mean you could do that same video for two months Absolutely. there's no reason to change those exercises other than we're going to be kind of building upon um we're going to be kind of build, building upon those exercises as we go so you're going to do about 15 minutes of stretching every day for the first two weeks and then the next video will come out in two Wednesdays when we'll be back again. We'll talk about it again. We'll reiterate. A new video will be posted. Um, so it is going to be one video and you're going to follow those exercises. I think there's nine exercises um, that you're nine stretching exercises that you're going to do. Follow That's that awesome. for two weeks and then um, and then we'll post another video. And and you can still do those stretching exercises in work. addition yeah, to the new you know you can build upon these as you go use those stretching exercises for a warm down um, or any one of those things so um so that's how it's going to be all right the next question back to ben here is
from Robert in Florida. Can a master spas be powered by solar? And how much power is required? Ooh, okay, so no, but there's always a but. We have had customers on remote islands who have a 50 amp solar inverter, I think is the right word. Um, 50 was their max, and 50 is the most common swim spot amperage. Um, so that's a lot, so you're basically eating up all of it in one shot. Uh, typically what our customers do is they have solar on the house, which assists with the whole situation. We, I think you're talking about a solar, maybe off-grid or something like that to power the whole swim spot. So we actually have a situation that I'm very familiar with where it was actually a Michael Phelps unit uh, with Master Pure, and we chose that unit because of the prop, you know, actually runs less for full power, runs less amperage than, you know, if forget heat all aside, runs less amperage than uh, two jets or two pumps on a, a jetted swim spot. So we chose that on purpose. We put Master Pure in there so we had the cert pump. Um, it's in a very warm remote island, so he's never really calling for heat. And then the dip switch settings, um, it, it can be done, kind of. Uh, it's not how it was intended. Um, Master Spas is not interested in building something different. We get that call a lot. Can you can you you know alter one from the factory and they they won't disrupt the line. The line is massive. They're they're pouring out units, so that is impossible. But you have dip switches in there, and with a little more research, depending on your situation, maybe. But the official answer is you need 50 amps, 240 mm -hmm. volts. So we've seen it. Um, it's not ideal and it's sort of tricky, but in a very warm climate, uh, it has happened before. How's that for a vague and <laughs> Kirk's going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, that's the truth. Okay. I'm going to answer part of this next question. Go for it. I live in Michigan. This is Scott from Michigan. Scott. He's leaving for five days and he wants to know, do I turn the heat down to 80 in my 50, 15 deep from 99? And do I shock with two cups of chlorine before leaving? So first of all, don't forget that master spas are super, super insulated. So it is going to take you two to three days, if not more, to get it from 99 to 80. Okay. And it's going to use energy to do that. And then it's going to use energy to get back up to 99 when you get home. You're only going for five days. Well, it won't really use energy to go down. But it'll use it to come back up. Right, right. But it's going to take almost three three to four days to get it from 99 to 80. Super, so, like, the part of the, the... Do not put two cups of... of oh, right, yes. In there. My God, no. Jeez, five days, dude. No. <laughs> That's way too much. Um, put a quarter of that. There we go. A quarter of that. Um, but I'd be super interested in Michigan, Michigan, right? Yeah. Um, super cold. I'd be curious if you took it from 99 and turned it down to 80, how long it actually took to get to 80 with right. the cover closed and sealed. It's going to be longer than you think. Yeah. But uh, if it's super, super cold, it'll cool off there pretty quickly. Yeah. But these aren't these aren't really chugging in. in you know, 20 degree weather, they're not chugging, they're idling. So they're capable of this. I mean, we had single digits in Connecticut, which we don't get that often. No. I think you have colder weather in Michigan and, and, and even even Fort Wayne than you do here. We don't see the single digits very often. Yeah. But we had them, we had them a week or two ago. Yeah. No problem. Okay. So, but, but two cups is way too much. But, and I was going to say, five days really isn't that long yeah, to leave it, leave it at here. 99. Um, and definitely not, that's way too much chlorine for that amount of time. Maybe like two ounces. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. That's two, two cups is way too much. Yeah. Um, and then the last question is from Amy in Ontario. Um, is there a video or can you show how to hook up the row bars so they don't hit the shell of the spa? So Ben is going to hook that up so that you can see. However, they are going to hit the sides if you leave them in, which is one of the reasons why we don't recommend leaving the row bars in. So um, we use the row bars in here a lot, and because we learned from our bad mistake of leaving them in, and they broke prematurely because of, you know, you've got chlorine in here, don't forget, and water, 
um, and the the clips and things can wear much faster the, uh, than if you take them out. So you are supposed to take them out. Um, so you use them and you, like if you're swimming and you're doing a routine where you swim and then you row, the row bars are going to hit the edge while you're in it and the water is moving. It should be that part that hits. So let's just show the video. Yeah, but here is course. how to install them correctly. Enjoy Captain's little mouth here. So the clip goes in. And we get this a lot. Sometimes that clip needs a little love. So you want to make sure that actually clips. Hear that clip. So this is the button right there. And they're, they're hard to press. So like I yep. use a little something. Here, do that again. But that, that is the button. So it yep. clips in. Clips in. And you see that move? Yeah, you can actually see it so like locked into place. what's happening is there's an arm going this way in there. So to get that out, this needs to go that way. So I just use something sharp and just pulls right out. So I use, I use that. Oh. Uh oh, Captain is supervising. He hears something. <laughs> so that goes in. You tell him, Captain. We don't want any. And then the then you have your clip there, and that clips right onto that, right there, and then then you have, they just kind of, play. but the, um, the handle will hit the edge of the, you can hear it, um, she when the water's moving. Yeah. All right, Kat. Um, oh, come here. That's enough. Donna asked, can't you only change temperature by three degrees or else it locks up? So, uh, Donna, which Donna? Donna Wetter. Donna. Hello, Donna. I was wondering if it was going to matter. So what happens is if you have a circ pump and you turn it down three degrees, more than three degrees, four degrees, it will turn your circ pump off until it reaches that temperature. That's all it is. So it won't lock anything up. It just turns that circ pump off if you have Master Pure or the circ pump. Okay, most, uh, all swim spas, if they have circ pump, they have Master Pure. But most swim spas don't have that. So you'd be fine in doing that. Still going to run filter cycles. Also, uh, interesting. We, enough, really. <laughs> Kayla's dog was barking with him. Because he, yeah. because he heard Captain. Yes. Two ding dongs. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I lost my train of thought. About the circ pump with the going so down. The circ pump and the going down, three degrees, and it'll do that. And it'll, but uh, if you don't have a circ pump, it's still going to run its filter cycles on time. And, oh, this is what we talked to you. My mother's swim spa is a Therapool D, has a circ pump, and the main um, filtration cycle, it, it still had cycle, uh, filtration cycle one was still turned on to four hours, and she doesn't really need that. So they turned that down to one hour. On the Therapool screens, it's one hour increments, whereas on these, they're 15 minute increments. So I didn't even realize this, this challenger at my house was still running a four hour filtration cycle oh, wow. on pump one. I didn't even know it. Oh. It was still running that for, what is it, two years? Yeah. So that means almost coming up on two years, it's been running that the whole time. I, I thought I turned that down, but I didn't. So, but that has a, that has a circ pump also. Yeah. So if you're running a circ pump, you can turn those filtration cycles, you know, down all the way. Okay. Dennis, Ben is wearing a Garmin 945 watch um there you go he loves it it's I mean, awesome it does a lot you know i need to find out my brother told me he's like you should call them and, or contact them about getting that reaction i was getting a, a an allergic reaction on my on my wrist from it i i love that watch it works really well in the swim spa if your swim spa is outside um, you need to just put it in, turn off your GPS so it'll track your, um, your strokes and your, and your swim, but it's, it's a really great it does, watch. It does so much more. Yeah. Way. Yeah. I mean? Yes. So I use this for, obviously for swimming. Um, it does count strokes, which works really well inside or out. I use it for the sleeping. It gives me a sleep score and it pays attention to my sleep, which is excellent for me. Um, the other thing we use it for any cardio workout I do. I don't do my weightlifting workouts in there, but I do any cardio. I you could. There. You could. Yeah. I, I just, I don't, 
Uh, what else do I use it for? Steps are always interesting. Yeah. Where did we do? Oh, we went to New York City. Yeah. And and it's awesome to see the steps in there. In your Apple Watch, a lot of people have Apple yeah. Watch. The new Apple Watch, I think, does pretty much all that, if not. So I, I look, the very new one, the Ultra, yeah. is for, you know, sports, but I still think the Garmin is still better right now. Right. You know, Apple's mm -hmm. still still getting in. Apple's getting, new, Apple's new yeah. the fitness game. Garmin is not. Yeah. And then uh, what's the other thing they use for? Um, oh, blood, blood ox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so your, your blood ox. And that was sort of when COVID, you guys remember when COVID started, everything was blood ox. If your blood mm -hmm. oxygen drops down, that's when you know you, you know, that, that was sort of the factor that made you say, I've got it. I'm not just going to hunker down a house. I need to go to the hospital. Yeah. So I monitor that too. All right. So we're on here for a few more minutes. Um, anybody have any other questions? Anything? Um, let us know. And again, if we don't see it, we will check later. And it, and like Ben said earlier, if you have any additional questions and you want to get us uh, to, to see it, just send it to Master Spas directly and put us, Ben and Mary. I don't think we have any more questions. So okay. um, we will be back in two weeks. I didn't think fast enough to know what the date is. Four plus 14, 18. So we will be back on Wednesday, the 18th. Uh, Virginia, it's a Garmin 945 watch. Um, I think they have a new... They do. A new hyper crazy one. That the Phoenix 7... Uh, I've been to, but it's a Garmin... Oh, a Garmin 4Runner. It's 955. Oh, nine, yeah. 950 or 955. Okay. So now I have the old one. <laughs> um, yeah, Donna, we're really excited about this too. So we will be back in two weeks. Um, link, if you're interested in the challenge, click on the link, learn about more, get an email. The videos will be posted as well. And, uh, we will see you all in two weeks for more info. There will be another, another video posted at that day as well. So, so we're not posting um, them ahead of time. Right. You can't cut to the front of the line. You got to do the work. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Be Happy good. new year. And we'll see you in two weeks.